Good morning, everybody. So, as I've been, I had whole loads of requests um, for video tutorials the uh, past few months. Thought I'd uh, sort of do a test video, try to practice, see where the best the uh, the camera could be. Um, I've got the, the HD cameras on charge. I didn't realise I'd left it turned on, so the battery's gone dead. So that's charging. So I'm going to do another video with that at some stage. Um, that camera was bought by the Patreons uh, over the past couple of months. Thank you very much for everybody um, who is uh, back in the Patreon. Thanks to Lee and Sam who have been there from the start. Um, so yeah, cheers, thumbs up, you got me a nice little camera. Um, I'm going to try that later. Um, at the moment I'm going to try the new iPhone 8 to see how that works out because apparently the camera's supposed to be really good. But on the Patreon, if... You want to see me do more tutorials and you have anything that you really want me to paint and you want me to see leave a comment um, below and obviously back the patreon because all of the money that I get from that I'm able to put back into the channel and back onto the page to um, improve uh, the lightning the equipment and everything else so far the patreon page has allowed me to buy a HD camera for, for videos. It's allowed me to buy a better tripod. And this is all what I'm um, sort of experimenting with today. So, you know, it all it does all help and it does all go uh, ahead. A lot of people would like to see me do the Captain General again. Obviously, the Patreon page would be ideal for me to buy that other model um, to, to be able to, to uh, repaint up as a tutorial rather than, you know, not need it. <clears throat> so if you want to help it's only one dollar a month basically less than the price of a cup of coffee from starbucks and it's 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 all appreciated and it's um, I'm, I'm very thankful for it one well, obviously um videos in the future will start be going onto the patreon page first and then we'll um after a few months migrate over to the youtube channel um what I want to do as well is want to try out the the live videos again on the Facebook page to see how that works and, and you know, try that out. But first, what we're going to do is we're going to paint the blades. Now, I've had a lot of people requesting the blades. This one still needs the blade finished off, but he's almost done. I'm actually quite pleased with, with how he's he's working out. Got the black needs to be done. Need to drill out the, the gun barrel and then finish off the base and do his tabard. But the colours that I use to do the base is very simple. It's a base coat of Stegadon Green. Then I mix in and blend up with some Sotec Green. And then I take that mix and add some Temple Guard Blue, create the highlights, and then get some white for to really push the contrast and for the edge highlighting as well. Um, the black is used for a little bit of a glaze. Uh, and the glaze will basically sort of sit in this area here just on this sort of curve so because i'm going to have a highlight along here and along here and then there'll be like a black darker glaze there and the edge highlights will come around the edge and then along there as well so as i've already base coated this stegger on green already um and i have the first mix already to go we'll get started so make sure it's quite watered down and then you know and then just sort of pull the pigment to the edges Now this is going to take probably a couple of coats, but because you keep it nice and thin, it should dry quite quickly. I haven't got my heating on at the moment, so it's quite nippy in here at the moment. So the paint will take a little bit longer to dry as normal. But apparently, as the God Emperor Duncan Road says, two thin coats.
Now, when you make sure that the other coat's dry, you'll see the little specks and dots. So just make sure that it is dry before you apply the next coat because the paint's really thin. And what you'll do is when you put it on, you'll, you'll end up pulling the paint off. So let me go and do the blade. So to do the edge of the blade, I just run the layer right across the blade. And then just pull it. Again, you just pull it, get that pigment right to the edge, to where you want it. If you need to, just feather this bit out, but remember, you don't really need to worry too much because we're going to be putting a black glaze into that anyway. Okay, so you're starting to get the highlights built up. So, the mix now is pretty much almost pure Sotec Green. Is it called Sotec Green? Yeah, Sotec Green. I always think it's called Sotec Blue for some other reason. be getting a box of wardens and one of them will be used for a full tutorial from start to finish um, See how the highlights now is just starting to build up. I'm very impressed with the new custodian kits, they're, they really are nice. Now, probably one more on the edge of the blade, and then we'll, we'll increase the lightness. We'll start adding some Temple Guard blue into it. Okay, and if you're worried about the uh, where the shadow bit is, you make a really thin glaze. You just get that back up. Okay, get that shadow back in. 
Right, so what I'll do now is get some simple guard blue. switch brushes to my really small brush uh, because I really I don't want too much paint This bit here is still quite wet, so applying a, another layer on that will rip that. If you do rip it, most of the time you, you're pretty much going to have to, to rebase it and start from scratch again. And then just get the, the edge highlight in. Now we'll do the the blade. Okay, let that dry, probably just a little bit there. Right, it's time we get there now. Um, It's going to be fun doing the lightning with this camera in front of me. It's, uh, it's going to be interesting. So what I did there was I just took the Soltec, uh, the original Stegazon green glaze and just 
applied basically a shadow in here just to get the contrast between this and this and then a, a, a distinct break between the, the two highlights so now you get that line all right so what we want is a little bit of that a little bit more uh, temple guard blue back into the mix and this is mainly for the the edge highlighting um, like that we're going to be going back over this again with a white highlight um, but that'll just sort of bring the bleed out So now for the fun highlight, the one in the middle. Now, you can do it like this, but if you're not that comfortable, just 45 degrees, and just slowly drag the edge of the your brush along the edge, and you will just catch the raised corner. A little bit thicker but that's grand now for the lightning the lightning is pure temple guard blue and I get a little bit of white into it not too much just a little bit Water it down a little bit, but again, so it's quite thin. If you're using a wet palette for this, it'll be quite quick and easy to do. Now, the lightning comes out of these gold parts, so this is going to be fun. So I apologise if my hand moves out the way. want to draw some You want to get something like that, just a lot of broken lightning lines basically. But just make sure that your paint is thin. Now I use for this a uh, Rosemary & Co Series 33 brush. Now they are watercolour brushes so they're, they tend to hold quite a lot of paint. Um, so if you are using these brushes just be careful because obviously it will take a lot of paint in 
and then it does tend to spit a lot of it back out. There's no real set way or pattern. Right, so that's the lightning on. Now, a little bit up the top here because it looks a bit weird without it. So, there we go. So the next stage is for some skull white. highlight crazy highlight right down the middle of the blade this is the one I think always seems to catch people out too harsh but never mind um right and then just to finish it off just add little random dots of white just in some of the lightning There, and that's how I do the axe blades. Now, obviously a little bit more difficult with the camera in front of me, but you get the general idea. And here's the two, sort of side by side. That, that to be fair, I did make a mistake there. That, that highlight in the middle of there is a little bit too, a little bit too bright, but it'll be fine. Okay, so, thank you very much for, uh, for all the support. The likes the comments the shares um so it all means a good lot if obviously if you want to see me do more things like this um and you want to support me 
feel free to go over and um, support me on the Patreon page. Uh, subscribe to the YouTube channel because things will be coming to it shortly. Um, like and share, tell your mates, you know, it's all good. Anything, every little helps and it, it's awesome. Um, if you do want me to do any specific tutorials, um, fire down in the comments below and, and then we'll see what you want. It doesn't have to be GW stuff. I'm pretty much open to painting pretty much most things um, in this. If there's anything specific, you know, put that down too. But again, thank you very much. Hope you enjoy the video and I hope it helps. Bye.